Good evening, you are watching India News Stream. This is Sana Aziz with today's news headlines. Lagging concerns over what he called the population imbalance, Rashtriya Swam Sevak Sangh Chief Mohan Bhagwat today said that India had suffered severe consequences of a deteriorating population balance in history. Therefore, a comprehensive policy to check its rise was needed. The Telangana Rashtra Samiti has now become a national party and changed its name to Bharat Rashtra Samiti. A mob lynched a 22-year-old youth named Ajaz Khan near the Jharkhand Chhattisgarh border on suspicion of stealing a goat. More than 12 persons have been detained by the police after a criminal clash broke out in Padodra's Gorwa area over the hoisting of religious flags on Tuesday night. Carolyn R. Bertozzi and K. Barry Sharpless from the United States and Morton Meldal from Denmark shared the 2022 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the development of click chemistry and bio-orthogonal chemistry. There was high vigil in Karnataka's Kalburgi district on the Shera day today following the Dalit Sena's announcement that if the effigy of Ravan is burned, the effigy of Lord Ram would also be set on fire. In a shocking tragedy on the Shera, five men were killed in a major road crash involving an ambulance and four cars speeding on the Bandra Verli Sea Link early on Wednesday morning. No terror angle has emerged during investigation of the case of murder of HK Lohia. Interrogation of the accused is in progress, said Additional Director General Police Jammu Zone Mukesh Singh. Six climbers were rescued while search for more than 25 persons still stranded is in progress in the Uttarkashi avalanche. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky signed a decree to put into effect the decision of the National Security and Defense Council, which rules out holding any negotiations with Russian President Vladimir Putin. That's all for now. We'll come back with more news updates shortly.